Hey guys, I get asked a lot of questions about how I cover the Springboks and uh, how, what happens in the Springbok week. Uh, so last week uh, with Loftus, I thought I'd, dis I'd do a bit in the blog. So yeah, this is what happens. Yeah, my mat. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Normally, there's, it's quite a structured week anyway for the Springboks. Uh, we have normally the Springbok doctor and, and, and probably the coach maybe on a Monday or assistant coach. Tuesday is definitely assistant coach and player. Wednesday, we have an off day for the Springboks where we don't bother them. Thursday, of course, we have the, Thursday we have the Springbok coach and the team announcement, which is often broadcast live on Supersport. And then Friday, uh, Friday for all uh, wanted, we have the captain giving his press conference as well. Alrighty then. One of the things I often get asked is, is just what's it like interacting with the Springboks? Well, you know what? To be very honest, they, they, they're pretty decent guys as well. Most of them, most of them are very friendly. Most of them are just you know, doing their best to do the job that they've sort of been uh, picked for as well. And uh, that's why sometimes the public opinion on players is over the top. Try not to get personal with players as well. We try and obviously, you know, you try and if there's criticism, you have to give criticism. You can't say that the guy's had a great game when he hasn't. And you know what? Players are the first ones to tell you that they haven't had a good game as well. Uh, when And they know that. So um, I think the real thing is just you know, be honest and be uh, considerate that you still dealing with a person, you know, such, and don't, a lot of times on internet forums and that it gets very disparaging and players get torn apart by people and, you know, it's often not fair. Um, but saying that, they are professionals, this is a job, so they, they expect criticism. Um, there's always a manner in which you can do it, though. Yeah, John, firstly, happy birthday. Um, uh, <laughs> you look so young. Um, yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne has arrived. Uh, Ja, ek denk ek het oomanne teruggebring, meneer. Ek het raar ek jy oomanne teruggebring. Often what will happen is that we will uh, be at the practice sessions as well uh, with the spring box as well. We'll watch them train, we'll get to chat to people behind the scenes and you form an opinion there. A lot of the time, a lot of your information doesn't come from the press conferences. It comes from studying statistics, reviewing the game. Uh, a normal week for me, I'd probably watch the game two or three times, depending on that. Super Rugby makes it a bit difficult with all the games that are on, but uh, you watch the game two or three times and you form an opinion there and you watch players' performances. You don't just go on uh, you know, the opinion of, of just seeing it all once off because often you don't see things uh, you know, sitting in the stands in the press box where we are that you do see again when the TV uh, is on. And of course, TV viewers have a very good view of the game as well. I think at the end of the day, one of the things is you've got to be fair, uh, you've got to be uh, unbiased and you've got to you know, work with facts. And I think that's one of the things that makes a journalist's job difficult. It's a great job to do. I probably ne I love my job. I'll be very honest. I love my job, but um, it does have its downsides. I mean, there's a lot of travelling. There's a lot of time away from home. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of things that happen. If they shut me up, who'll take my place? Yeah! Who is going to take my place? Yeah! Though we're getting away from the the job covering the Springboks, I think. You know, What's interesting about covering the Springboks is that um, there's such a big interest. Every day of the year we co cover our own teams, our provincial teams, and when you get to the box, one of the rules I usually have is try and, try and chat to players you don't normally get to, to, to know. I mean, players from other prov provinces that you cover. Let's try, try and chat to players that you don't get to speak to every single day. Um, and, and get to know them better and get to know their stories because everyone's got a story at the end of the day. Everyone's got people that are behind them. Everybody's trying to succeed and everybody's trying to make the, the, the team a better team.
I've had a lot of interesting times in terms of when things go wrong for Springbok rugby. It's not always the best time to be a, a rugby journalist. It's difficult at times, especially, I mean, I was in Brighton when the box lost against Japan. Uh, I was in, in Wellington when Bryce Lawrence came. We went out of the World Cup in 2011. There's been some big moments there. They haven't always gone the Springboks way, and it's been difficult to, to be that journalist, to be that reporter on those nights. Uh, the big thing, though, is, is to always keep that line between professionalism and, 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 and not becoming too much of a fan. I know there's a lot of times we get accused of that, but uh, yeah, if, you, if you saw some of the press conferences, the way the interaction is, there's a mutual respect between a lot of the guys, and you have to keep that line out over there. If you don't have that line, um, you know, a lot can go wrong. So to me, I think uh, it's a big thing in Springbok rugby. It's, it's the last I've covered oh, seven or eight Springbok coaches in my career. There's been good times, there's been bad times. Um, Com Stoldrod, probably one of the worst, Brighton, um, times like that. Uh, and, and But there's always been a, a, a mutual respect that's kept things going. Okay, so that's, I hope I answered some questions. I'm not sure if I really touched this, went into the subject as in depth as maybe some people would like. If there's something you'd like to know about covering the Springboks or my job you know, in the normal day of work, let me know. I'll let you, I'll definitely answer wherever I can. Uh, leave a comment below, subscribe guys, and just uh, yeah, keep on watching, man. And uh, yeah, keep watching rugby. It's a beautiful game. Made my life in it. I love the game and I'll hopefully do it till I die and hopefully see a lot more Springbok victories. Cheers.